Okay, ping pong. So the aim is to consolidate the the behavior this behavior into one class and uh, one type of component that can be added and switch between behaviors wrap up wrap down ping pong and r randomize So I guess we'll uh, first start probably duplicating this file and we can call it uh, an abstract base tra trans or something. Let me see. Limit uh, transform values yeah, that's gonna have to do okay so in this file we will create all the basic behaviors for ping pong wrap up and wrap down and some random random behaviors also I really don't see how you can would be randomizing frame by frame of the position of something that's probably like on start or something of that nature okay so now we have our component it requires a transform some mono behavior and it's hmm is it abstract if it's abstract then uh, these can derive and do their own behaviors hmm. or you pick between the behaviors I like the abstract class idea. So we make it abstract and require that they require that they implement the start function as an I enumerator. Okay, so it'll provide. Hmm, should these be protected? Nah, I'm gonna um encapsulate the fields on that. So we'll enca encapsulate them at public. Yeah, we'll public and encapsulate this field also at public. Yep, dropping more frames. I haven't got any warnings from the software yet. So I'll continue on. So limit value. Call that limit value also. Okay, so we're encapsulated. Limits control. Let us just do minus plus a hundred. That's probably not going to be enough for any any practical application of moving things around the world. Maybe thousand might be too much. So I'll set some default values between a hundred and a hundred upper and lower bounds. Current in zero, default scale one. Limit control, name parameter. I want to see what I should pass in. S 
scale we mm, a thousand hundred and one yep that's good that should be enough parameters so now we have our abstract class that provides the limit transform capability I think this is what is that okay yeah this helps uh, move them around it has a field ID and a transform field so these are drop downs that provide um, access to specific properties on the transform alrighty so now in our ping pong behavior uh... yeah I'm pretty sure you'll do it badly first time and probably the second time you'll start getting a little better and eventually you'll get better <laughs> I didn't show you my first library code have I Let's see if I can open it, it I mean it's horrible I have pro um, public variables that's exposed that's written as private there's I mean there's all sorts of madness in there which I tried to remedy that's in the in the camera code I probably be working on that here in a couple of hours or so but yeah it's horrible of course you're gonna make mistakes but you gotta do it if if you want to I mean if you have li libraries that you reuse you should do it at least for yourself and when you're doing it for yourself I think that kinda gives a little just like best do it and then use the library and then you'll see what mistakes you made by using the library don't go from code to code like I do <laughs> into the library code and then, but then you can see where you're making your mistakes and where you need to improve yeah man but of course it's gonna be a tough a tough thing it's very hard, especially keeping it, um, you know, useful. Because usually you probably only write stuff for yourself, so you know exactly what's going on right from the ins and outs. And th the minute someone else touches it, uh, for instance, someone like uh, Mr. Edge Case, <laughs> then you realize there's, you know, quite a few improvements you can make. Yep, especially if they're in one language, and even not too. I think the DLLs are portable to an extent, depending on the libraries you use. I would do. Give it a shot. Pull out some of the the, s the smaller stuff that do that do something. Like I have a random weighted class. I got a piece of code from. I think it was uh, Stack Overflow about weighing weighing random selections by uh you know between a certain value and then they get picked more if they are of higher weight so i i use this here i use it there so that was my first library i wrote for myself and then you know i just drop it into the code implement i weighted is the interface and give it a value and you know it picks from the list and it turned out pretty good then you'll get more ambitious. All right. So same behavior as before. Where's my ping pong? It's not okay. <laughs> okay. So we have the same behavior as before, and yeah. And we're using the abstract class. So now the doors that opens up is, um, as you see, the ping pong trans requires almost, almost no code. Let's see what we can remove here. Yep, I'm dropping lots of frames. 
Thanks, man. I'm going to save this out and uh, restart my computer and my stream. I mean, see how that goes. My apologies. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, come back five minutes as long as it takes to restart everything.